uh, this uh, uh, circular uh, meat delivery device uh, from a well-known, <clears throat> well-known uh, organization uh, is uh, it does not have to be on Snowden's menu anymore. Our panel will tell us what he's going to be eating uh, and what the security services here in the United States may be eating uh, as he finds refuge in Russia. You know. And like, I believe, I believe that you like both of these people. Ford O'Connell, former McCain Palin presidential campaign advisor and chairman of the Civic Forum PAC, and T Dubs, Tony Welch. She is a former press secretary for the Democratic National Committee, Democratic strategist, etc., etc., etc. What what happens next? Uh, does anybody really care? Let's start with you, Ford. Uh, l let me say this: whatever good intention Snowden had went out the window as soon as he blew the coup. I don't want to get all Red Dawn, Rocky Four on you, but basically the Russians, I mean the Soviets have, you know, little interest in our freedoms or anyone else's. The key here, though, is where does where does individual freedom end and where does national security begin? He did, in, you know, raise an interesting question, which Judge Andrew Napolitano, plug here, put on the uh, Fox News website this morning on, on, on that discussion. It really piece. is. And, and the piece. question is, where are we going to go and how are we going to have the right safeguards in place for liberty going forward? Because the problem is terrorists, cyber hackers are a lot like baseball players and steroids. They're going to change their methods. The Patriot Act can't be static. and We've got to find that right balance. Okay. Well, that sounds, I mean, who's against that? Like, right? <laughs> like, who's, right? I'm also in favor of low cost, delicious, nutritious meals for school children. <laughs> Right, Every, that, everybody oh, wants I, that. I, I think you're, no, you're no, over no, I'm that. sorry, you're right. No, that no, was sorry. too snarky. No, but you know, there's, that there's a little bit of squirming on the NSA side. That's fine. That's okay. They can okay. they can deal with it, right? Right. Um, and there are, gosh, the best thing you say about Snowden is that a conversation's going. Not that he shouldn't be in jail. Not, you know, well, he you, should be in jail. Right. Okay. It's, it's, it's the best thing you can say. Right. As, as a part of that conversation, you'll get to resolve some questions, shedding light on. Some parts of this, for instance, uh, who should hold on to the records and for how long? Should it be if, if you if you need them for for five years? If you want that access for yeah. five for five years, uh, in fact, this will come up. Will, will should it be the federal government that holds on to it for that time, or simply can it be the phone companies? And the phone companies may not want to hold on for it for that long, but it wouldn't be in government custody, and they'd have the right to check it. Yeah, which, they don't. Yeah. But but to, yeah. to Tony's point, though, how many people know what business records section two fifteen of the <laughs> United States Patriot Act is? That's my no, problem. Is people want to talk about liberty, but we're not good citizens because we don't pay attention to this and liberty and freedom are not let me, free let me let me let me posit something and here's my posit you see the polls washington is somehow confused by polls where americans say do you approve of this and they say no should they keep doing it yes and it's like how can this be well it's very easy if you asked if you uh, if you asked a man of a certain age, if he approved of his last visit to the doctor, he would say, no, and as a matter of fact, I really did not <laughs> like this visit at all. And then they say, will you go back next year? And they say, absolutely. yep, I'll be going back. So Americans can uh, agree to continue things they don't like, and they don't like this. Am I right? I, I think that's right. And I think you'll also see uh, a bipartisan agreement that much of this is needed. In fact, uh, you know, it comes well, out. Well, bipartisan that, establishment agreement. Well, and, and, ah. and, I, and, I, and I think that's fair enough, but, but tweaks notwithstanding, necessary tweaks yes. and, and notwithstanding, there's still the point of who was briefed on this going, who going knew? forward. I right? totally agree with you, but Which there's a good. strand of libertarian thinking running through both parties right now, and the question is going forward, and, and it bothers me when young kids snarked at Mitt Romney talking about Russia's geopolitical foe and the naivety going forward. My question is, how do you marry that with practical governing? Obviously, we want our freedoms, and I agree with you, we need to have this, but but it's sort of like Carl Van Clausewitz in the Iron Triangle. Essentially, nice. the American public nice. has to be more aware of what it is they're talking about if we're going to get these Ford is going to do the Schlieffen plan next time. It's going to—that's when it's going to get really. Maybe <laughs> Huntington, the Clash of Civilizations, quite will be so, next. Quite so. Okay. So <laughs> here, so so here's the thing. Today, the president. So he says, "I'm open to some changes." The president says yesterday, uh, and so today he's going to meet with, and this is what happens in Intel going to meet with the same exact people who have been in charge of this forever. They're going to go to, we're going to have a discussion about this with the same people who have been having the discussion for now, you know, for in, in the case of somebody like Dianne Feinstein, for decades. That this is the, it, it's the same apparatus and they're going to have another meeting with the same people to talk about what they could be doing better. And I just told me I have to wrap. <laughs> I'm we sorry. were having so much it fun. It was so good. They may have a different take on some things. That was probably the NSA. The NSA, of me. right? The NSA probably yanked that. But yeah. guys, I'm sorry we didn't have more time. And no, you can't have the cheeseburger. Oh. Uh, all right, guys. Have a great day.